Hello, this is Dr. John Wallman. This is another episode of the series Reasons for Calm, COVID-19. This episode is the severity of COVID-19 has been downgraded in the United Kingdom. As of March 19, COVID-19 is no longer on the high consequence infectious diseases list in any country. England, Wales, Scotland, and Ireland, the HCID group, and the UK Advisory Committee on Dangerous Pathogens downgraded the severity of COVID-19. It basically took it off that list. What are the criteria to be on the HCID list? And they are, quote, acute infectious disease typically has a high case fatality rate may not have effective prophylaxis or treatment, often difficult to recognize and detect rapidly, has the ability to spread in the community and within healthcare settings, requires an enhanced individual population and system response to ensure it is managed effectively, efficiently, and safely." End quote. Why was the severity downgraded? Well, and here again, I'm quoting directly from the United Kingdom government. Quote, now that more is known about COVID-19, several features have now changed. In particular, more information is available about mortality rates, which are low overall. And there is now greater clinical awareness and a specific and sensitive laboratory test now exists the availability of which continues to increase, end quote. What diseases are on the high consequence infectious diseases list? They're broken into two categories, which aren't important at this moment, but they are diseases such as Argentine hemorrhagic fever, Bolivian hemorrhagic fever, Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever, Ebola virus disease, Lassa fever, Luho virus, Marburg virus, severe fever with thrombocytopenia syndrome, Andes virus infection, avian influenza A, avian influenza A, S, uh, HSN6, Middle East respiratory syndrome, monkeypox, Nipah virus infection, pneumonic plague, and severe acute respiratory syndrome. Now, what are the mortality rates of these other high consequence infectious diseases? Some of the ones that are still on the list. Ebola, for example, is in the 40 to 90 percent mortality rate. Nipah in the 77 percent mortality rate. Bubonic plague, 60 percent mortality rate. And then more recently, MERS and SARS, which had 34 percent and 10 percent mortality rates, respectively. Now, mortality rates for some of the pertinent diseases that are not on the HCID list. Influenza, which has a mortality rate hovering around 0.1%. And COVID-19, which is also likely to end somewhere comparable to the flu. Now, with these all in mind, we must ask the question, is this really a medical crisis or is this an induced social crisis? While any death is important, is the response that's being taken appropriate and the most effective way to save lives?